Hi, this is Sweet Do. How's everybody doing today? Coming back at you. Just coming out the dentist's office for the second time. The antibiotics that they gave me did not work. I was still in a lot of pain last night. I did a live stream last night. Um, I don't know if it got, I don't even think it got posted, but one person came on and talked to me because I literally could not sleep last night because I was in so much pain. So I called them this morning and told them I was still hurting. And they came, I came in and they checked it and sure enough, it's still infected. So they had me scheduled to get my tooth pulled in February. I managed to get scheduled for next Monday. You got to be your own advocate, people. You got to be your own advocate. This is a community health center that I come to. When I come here, I have to be my own advocate, you know, and I have to, because I was like, I kept saying, I, I can't, I got to have this tooth out now. Uh, I mean, I, I, I can't wait till February. And they was like, well, you know, we don't have anything. And she looked at it today and she seen that it was still infected and um, prescribed me, I guess, a different type of anti antibiotic. Um, they had me on 500 milligrams of uh, anamoxicillin, whatever you call that. And um, she gave me something. I'm not sure what she gave me, but she gave me something different. That didn't work. So I told her, I told him, I said, she said, yeah, that's going to have to go, go I'm going to have to go ahead and get that out. Let me see if I can get you in earlier. Okay. And so now they're getting me in next Monday to get this tooth out of my head. So you got to be your own advocate. Uh, I still have to schedule um, my doctor's appointment for my back and my wrist and then to get my checkup done. Because it's been a while. I haven't had any insurance. I had to quit my job to get back on Medicaid. The insurance in this country sucks. We have bad insurance in this country. I mean, you get to making a little money, they cut you off. And I couldn't afford the insurance at the job. They offered it. But because it's a small company, it really the, the, the insurance wasn't really that good. I mean, um, it was too high of a deductible. I couldn't afford it on my salary. So um, it's sad that you have to make a decision between bills and expenses. And, you know, I just didn't think it was, you know, a good deal. So I didn't get it. Um, but, you know, it's... Needs to be better insurance. Canada offers their people free insurance. If you make 50, under fifty thousand dollars a year, you should get free insurance in this country. If they can't give it to everybody, at least give it to the people that make under fifty thousand a year, or a hundred thousand a year. You know what I mean? If you can't give it free to everybody, give it to the people that are uh, lower income. Because this income guidelines for the Medicaid is jacked up. Because you get to making a little bit of money, and then they want to cut you off. So I had to quit my job to get back on Medicaid. So when I go back to work, I don't know um, what's going to happen as far as that. But I'm trying to get everything taken care of before I go back to work. Because I, I got to go schedule another appointment, like I said, for I can get, I need to get some x-rays done on my back. I need to get something and my wrist and my hand. Because right now my wrist hurts. My hand hurts. And, you know, um, my arm still kind of hurts from, you know, doing the lifting and stuff that I was doing on the job. So... And my son was like, well, mom, you shouldn't have quit your job right now. I'm like, he doesn't get it. He just doesn't get it. It's like, I said, you don't understand. I didn't just quit my job because I was pissed off. I quit my job because I no, literally could not, my back was not going to take too much more. And my hand and my wrist was not going to take too much more lifting. You know, it, it just wasn't going to take 
too much more. The kind of lifting that I was doing, my back wasn't going to hold up much longer. And my hand and my wrist was not going to hold up much longer. Because if I had stayed, I probably would have winded up on short-term disability had I stayed. And then some other things would have went away down too. So, um, I, I'm trying to explain that to him and he just doesn't get it. He's not connecting the dots. I told you not to quit right now. He didn't tell me that originally. And I'm like, son, you don't you don't get it he's just like he doesn't get it my youngest son gets it my oldest son doesn't get it so we kind of you know well we're not really going back and forth on it but I'm trying to get him to realize I didn't just quit my job because I was pissed off <laughs> you know I had some other issues but that's neither here or there at this point I mean that's kind of irrelevant at this point you know the main reason why I left was because of my back and my wrist and my hand. That's like the main reason why I left. Otherwise than that, I probably would have hung in there a little bit longer until I was able to get something else lined up. That the truth be told. I don't I mean I realistically don't know how much longer I would have held on, but um would I have quit the way I did? Most likely I probably would have had something else lined up first before I made that decision but because my back and my wrist and my hand was not going to hold up too much longer so that decision had to be made you know I, I literally didn't have much of a choice so I'm going to have to come back and get back into the doctor and see if they can get some x-rays done to see if my back has gotten worse um, in my hand and my wrist, you know, it's hurting right now. Of course, this weather's changing and it's getting kind of cold outside. Ooh, this man is doing. It's getting kind of cold outside, so I'm a little irritated today. It's... <sighs> so I just, I'm just upset with. I, I just, this system is this. It's terrible. This system, the way this system is set up is just terrible. It's like they don't act like they don't, you know, you can't hardly get no help. You know, if you need, when you really need it. You know, I don't know. I mean, I am getting, you know, like I said, I, I, I'm getting, you know, I'm getting some help, but um, I, I think if you, I just think if you have a pre-existing condition I had a pre-existing condition. When I originally lost my Medicaid, I had a pre-existing condition. I have a thyroid disorder. When you have a pre-existing condition, ain't no, ain't no sense in cutting somebody off of Medicaid. Or if a person has diabetes or something like that, that's a, called a pre-existing condition. That's something that you're going to have to go to the doctor and get checked once, once a month or whatever to get blood work done so they can adjust your meds or in a situation like that. Or if you have a heart issue, you, you should not be walking around with no insurance. You know what I mean? And they had me on like a sliding fee, which is all well and good. But now I owe them money. I owe them money now. So <laughs> it's, it's another bill, you know? So the, this health insurance in this country is just, it's just terrible. Um, it's not good. We have really crappy insurance here in the United States. And this is supposed to be the richest country in the world. It's supposed to be the richest country in the world. The Obamacare opened up the door for, um, you know, they did expand the Medicaid. Um, it, the, there were some issues with the Obamacare. To be perfectly honest, there were some issues with the Obamacare because people were saying that they couldn't afford the Medicaid. They were saying that they, the deductibles and everything was too high. I didn't even check into that. I didn't even check into that, you know, the Obamacare. 
But um, and then they, he was charging that penalty. They did remove the penalty, so that was good. Uh, he was charging that penalty like if you didn't get on it, then you had to pay six hundred dollars or something like that. So I didn't think that was right, but um, it did expand the Medicaid, so that was a good thing there. Um, so I mean, but the people that couldn't afford the Medicaid could not actually the deductibles and everything was just too high. So the the Obamacare. I, I really admire the fact that he really tried to get um, everybody insured. Uh, I respect the fact that he tried, but there were some issues with it. You know, there were some issues with it. And so, you know, all politics aside, there were some issues with it. We need health, free health care in this country. If you can't give it to everyone free, then you need to give it to the people that make $50,000 and under free. Or if they make under $100,000, give it to those people for free. Or a small co-payment. I don't have a problem with it. If I'm working and I'm making $12 an hour full-time, I don't have no problem with paying a small copay. You know what I mean? I don't have no problem with that. I'll, I'll pay a small copay. But as long as I know that if I got to go to the hospital or if I got to go to the doctor, then I'm going to be covered. Then I'm not going to have to wind up on the doctor all kind of money. And, and, and if I still was working on my job and didn't have this Medicaid, I, this, this extraction that I had to have done when it came out of my pocket, and that's money that I really didn't have because I got other bills and I got other expenses and, and I wasn't, it's not like I was making $20 an hour on this job. You know, my money wasn't long like that. You know, I would have, you know, they take payments, you know, and everything, but you know, just, just, I'm just ranting. I'm ranting, you know. So, um, but yeah, I had to be my own advocate. You know, I had to tell them, look, this tooth has got to come out. You know, I can't wait till no February. And she was like, yeah, she agreed. She she finally agreed with me. And she looked at it. She said, yeah, I'm going to try to go ahead and get you in. But who's to say, if I still didn't have my, my Medicaid, they probably would have been still talking that February jazz. You know? And I told them, you know, I I will. And and if you you can you have to be your own African, especially African American black people, because we do not get the care, we do not get the care. Let's let's keep it one hundred. You know, I'm about keeping it one hundred on my channel. I don't sugarcoat. We don't get the health care that we don't. Our standard of health care is not the same as everybody else or our white counterparts. We don't we don't get that same standard, and we as black people we really got to stand up and be our own advocate because they just don't give us the same quality care. And I, I literally at this particular place I come, I have to come in and I have to like when I schedule my appointment for the doctor, I have to literally come in and tell them I need a back X ray, I need an X ray for my hand, like I'm the doctor. That, that's that's really what I have to tell them because if I don't tell them then they won't do it it's like when I was working at the daycare and I and I first started having problems with my back and I told them I said I'm, I'm getting I'm getting I'm having a hard time doing my job and they didn't do nothing that first when I first initially told them they didn't do nothing didn't order no x-rays or nothing so I finally had to come in and tell them look I need you guys need to check my back and run some x-rays or something then they finally broke down, and uh, and I said, well, can I get a back brace? She was like, well, let's try the physical therapy first. And the physical therapy did help. And I'm going to try to see if I can get into that again. The physical therapy did help tremendously. Um, um, it, it had a tremendous <laughs> We know who says that. It had a tremendous effect. <laughs> so I'm going to try to see if I can get in and, and um, have that done again. And, and, and get that in again so in the meantime as far as my job situation I don't know what I'm going to do as far as my job situation I'm trying to make sure I'm trying to get all this thing, this stuff taken care of with my body and trying to get my body right um, 
before I, you know, actually go back to work. If I do go back to work, I'm only going to go back part-time. I'm not going back full-time. If I do, When I do go back, I'm only going back part-time. I'm not going back full-time. Not right now. So, just kind of staying prayed up and, you know, you know, taking it each day as it comes and just doing the best I can do. But let me know what you what you guys think in the comment section. You know what I mean, what um, do you have health care? I'm not trying to get in y'all business, but you have health care coverage on your job, or you can't afford it on your job, or do you got the Obamacare or Medicaid? Or what's your situation? And what do you think about the, this this country's health care system? Now hit me up in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about this. It sucks. This is supposed to be the richest country in the world supposed to be but it's not it's supposed to be the best country in the world but it's not Canada, Canada offers their people free health care why can't the United States do that so that's my chat chat and rant I'm about to go and uh, make a couple other runs I'm glad I was able to get you know in and get some more antibiotics in my system because that that's that's infection is no joke it could spread all over your body and i and i had a headache last night it was like the pain was radiating to my head on my left side where the tooth is my tooth that it needs to be pulled is on the left bottom side and and um you know it was radiating the pain was radiating to my head that can't be good so, you know, I had to let them know they had to step on it. You know, as far as that that extraction, it's, this, tooth, I said, this tooth has got to come out. That's what I told them straight up. So you got to be your own advocate. We, we, especially us as black people. And if you can't speak up and be your own advocate for some reason, you need to appoint someone that's going to actually... Um, be your advocate and go in and speak up for you. If you're not able to do it, then you need to have someone come in and speak up for you. But as long as I got, I can open my mouth and say something. I'm going. So Y'all need to do A, B, and C. Hello. <laughs> this is my body and this is my health, and I know what's going on with it. Okay, so hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this country's healthcare system, what your situation is. Uh, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, the like button, the share button, um, notification bell, all that, all that jazz. I'm getting ready to go make some more runs and um, and probably go get somewhere and, and then go home and do a little cleaning, go get somewhere and sit down. <laughs> Till the next video. Peace and love. This is Sweet Jew.